Michelle. Hey, Ashley. What are you looking at? Come take a look. It says here that in 1455, Gutenberg printed the world's first book with movable metal type. Isn't that cool? Really? That's weird. I heard that the world's first metal type book was Chikji made in Korea. Really? I wonder who's right. Hmm. Hello. Hey, guys. Hi. What are you two talking about? You know, the first metal type book was made in Korea, but Michelle is reading something different. Yeah, in the book that I am reading, it says that Gutenberg made the world's book with movable metal type. I wonder which book came first. Oh, that reminds me. I was reading this book. Look, here. The book says that Chikji was printed in Korea in 1377. Really? Hey guys, why don't we look it up in the internet? Yeah, yeah great, great idea. idea. The BBC, The New York Times, The Washington Post, and The Wall Street Journal have all named the movable metal type printing as the greatest invention of the last 1,000 years. In medieval times, only scholars and the lucky aristocratic few had access to the information because of the exorbitant expense of printing book xylography, the art of printing from wood carvings. The invention of metal typeset was no less than an information revolution that was to change the history of the world. Movable metal type printing technology promised the mass production of books. In a very short period, information on a diverse range of subjects was being conveyed to the public at large. Information became a popular commodity. And it brought revolution. In the Western world, the information revolution gave birth to the Renaissance, the Reformation, the Industrial Revolution, and the democratic revolution. These periods were crucial in changing and shaping the Western world. Often credited with this mass dissemination of information is Gutenberg, whose 42-line Bible in 1455 was Europe's first mass-produced book. In 1900, at the World Exposition in Paris, the world was startled to see an extremely old and worn book. It eventually became clear that this relic, on display in the Korean Hall, was printed with a movable metal type. Only it was old, very old, and it originated in a small country in the Orient. It was dated 1377, 78 years before Gutenberg. It is called Chikji, and it is the oldest surviving publication of a movable metal type. Corio's technology was clearly ahead of its time. Evidence suggests the appearance of metal typesets as old as the early 13th century. Many signs and evidences that Corio invented and developed metal type technology have been found in the early 1200s, about 200 years earlier than in the Western world. It's safe to say Corio's Chikji printing press surprised the people in Paris by appending all previous assumptions that Gutenberg's press had been the world's first. Al Gore, former U.S. Vice President and the Nobel Peace Prize laureate, made an interesting remark during his 2005 visit to Korea. Gutenberg's press, he said, may have been the direct result of an early papal delegation sent to Korea. The delegation, impressed with what they saw, brought back the idea. Indeed, his claim is backed by the Swiss Museum of Paper, Writing and Printing. In October 2005, in Frankfurt, Germany, German and Korean scholars took note of how Koryo and the Chosun influenced the printing histories of China, Iran, and the Eastern world, and posited its spread along what may be called the Type Road.
after the famous path Silk followed west. It only makes sense that Gutenberg, a simple metal worker with no experience in publishing, had some help. The story of a completed printing press, fashioned from scratch in a mere 20 years, is simply too fabulous for serious scholars to accept. Papal delegations aside, most likely is that his help came from Corio, developed by the Chosen and delivered to Samarkand via the northern plain of the Silk Road. As has so often happened before, the Jigji no longer rests with the descendants of its originators. It was ferried to France from Seoul in 1887 by Colin de Plancy, charge d'affaires ad interim with the French Embassy. Today it is kept in a dedicated safe as an article of value at the National Library of France. In 2001, Jigji was inscribed on UNESCO's The Memory of the World program. Its memory is invaluable to Korean history. As the country of origin, Korea has repeatedly requested its return. Today's Korea is an information technology powerhouse. Among the 180 countries ranked, Korea consistently ranks first in national IT utilization. To think, its success was foreshadowed as far back as the Chikji in the 13th century. The world's oldest metal type book is Korea's Jigji after all. The Gutenberg Bible was printed in 1455, but the Jigji was printed in 1377. That's right! Jigji precedes the Gutenberg Bible by 78 whole years. Gutenberg wasn't even born before Jigji was made. Wow! Hi guys! Did you learn that Jigji is the world's oldest metal type book? Then let me ask you a few questions about Jigji one of UNESCO's Memory of the World documents. Let's see if you can answer correctly. If I am correct, please hold up an O card. If I am wrong, hold up an X card. Are you ready? Question number one. The world's oldest metal type book is Tikti. True or false? Yes, it's true. Jigji is the oldest metal type book. Did everyone get it right? Question number two. Jigji was printed in Korea in 1455. True or false? The correct answer is false. Jigji was printed in Korea, but in 1377. Question number three. Jigji is now on display in the Korean National Museum. True or false? The answer is false again. Jigji is now on display in the French National Library in Paris. Hopefully soon, Jigji will be returned to its native country, Korea. Question number four. Several copies of Jigji are still in existence. True or false? The answer is false. Originally, Chikji had two volumes and there were 30 copies of each. But today, only one copy of the second volume remains. Question number five. Chikji is one of UNESCO's Memory of the World documents. True or false? The correct answer is true. Did you get the right answer? Question number six. 
Jigji was added to the UNESCO Memory of the World program. Furthermore, Korea has established the UNESCO and Jigji Memory of the World Prize, which is given out once every two years to those who have made contributions to the preservation of documentary heritage throughout the world. True or false? Yes, this is correct. The UNESCO and Jigji Memory of the World Prize is given out once every two years. This year, 2011, the fourth award will be given to the National Archives of Australia. These days, many science and history books and websites contain the incorrect information about the first movable metal type press. Yes, they continue to suggest that Gutenberg's 42-line Bible is the first book printed using a movable metal type press. This is incorrect information. The world's oldest book printed using movable metal type press is Chikji, printed in 1377. Yes, that's right, which is why UNESCO has recognized this fact and added it as one of their Memory of the World documents. Chikji's name is even used for the UNESCO and Chikji Memory of the World Prize. Did you learn something new today? I hope you have enjoyed it. Tell your friends what you learned and help spread the word. I'm Chloe. I'm Ashley. And I'm Michelle. See you next time!